On the back of an oil boom, Azerbaijan's capital, Baku, has become a shiny new city. GDP tripled in the past decade. And in the campaign videos, the young and the beautiful urge Azerbaijanis to stick with the man who brought all this to them. His name is Ilham Alev. He's been president for 10 years. His father ruled before him. The family has accumulated a great fortune. But, say supporters, enough wealth has trickled down to ordinary people for them to show some gratitude. Look to the development of Azerbaijan last 10 years. Uh, is a, Azerbaijan is a wonderful country, wonderful city. Look to the street, look to the building, look to the salary of the people. There have been flashes of passion here in a televised debate, but on the whole, this has been a soporific campaign. Opposition supporters on the streets, but it would be an enormous shock if their candidate, Jamil Hassanli, were to win. We will win many votes in these elections. If everything was fair, we could be the winners. But the problem is our Central Electoral Commission often announces rigged results. At the beginning of this year, the government used force to break up opposition protests. And Amnesty International describes a downward spiral of oppression in the run-up to these elections. It talks of arbitrary arrests, unfair trials and persecution of the independent media. But the government has always shrugged off criticism from abroad. And many Azerbaijanis, impressed by the material progress they see all around them, do seem prepared to stick with what they know. Barnaby Phillips, Al Jazeera.